Where do you go when you have to? What would you do if you had to find clean water or a toilet that works? Or something as simple as hand soap? And they were not available? These are real issues in many healthcare facilities around the world. A recent UNICEF and World Health Organization report with data from 54 low- and middle-income countries states that 38% of the facilities do not have any water source, 19% lack improved sanitation and 35% don't even have water and soap for hand washing. Also, an estimated 15% of patients developed one or more infections during a healthcare facility visit. The lack of proper water, sanitation and hygiene in healthcare facilities has real consequences on people's health because infection spread so readily and without clean water and sanitation, public health cannot be achieved. Dignity is also strongly affected. For instance, women and men have the right to feel secure and comfortable when practicing their daily hygiene, according to the United Nations. The lack of user-friendly and gender-sensitive services at healthcare facilities also put the most vulnerable groups at increased risk. Pregnant women, women in childbed, children and the disabled especially have to deal with these issues. This video is about the EVAG Sandec project, genderized water, sanitation and hygiene in the context of maternal health and menstrual hygiene how Indian and Uganda health centres manage the sanitation needs of special user groups. It is a collaboration with the Tata Institute for Social Sciences in India and the NGO Sustainable Sanitation and Water Renewal Systems and Makaria University in Uganda and is funded by the Swiss Network for International Studies. The goal of this interdisciplinary project is to improve WASH services at healthcare facilities in both countries and to develop recommendations for sanitation planners, health administrators and officials in the public sector on WASH that are applicable to healthcare facilities in low- and middle-income countries. The project is addressing one of the major objectives of the Sustainable Development Goals which is to improve the monitoring of WASH in healthcare facilities. The project is also taking gender considerations into account and hence it is known as genderized WASH. Women generally have more difficulty gaining access to sanitation. Questions like how to change menstrual hygiene materials in hygienic conditions and where do you dispose of them are normally not addressed by the male-dominated sanitation planning profession. This video is focusing on the work in India, which is taking place in the state of Maharashtra. The project is assessing WASH services at two public health care facilities. One of the health facilities is a subdivisional hospital located in Tuljapur town of the Usmanabad district. The other is a district civil hospital located in Bead, which is also the capital of Bead district. As per the Indian Population Census of 2011, both Tuljapur subdivision and B districts have a population of 0.2 million and 2.5 million respectively. Both these districts chosen for this study come under Marathwada region, which is among the most backward and drought affected areas of the country. All eight districts of the region appear in the list of 100 poorest districts of the country. The area has a sizable population of scheduled castes, tribes and other socially disadvantaged classes. Agriculture and allied activities are the predominant occupation in the region. Most people suffer from water, sanitation and hygiene-related diseases in the region. Diseases such as diarrhea, common cold and fever, cholera, typhoid, hepatitis are rampant. Malnutrition, pneumonia and worm infestations also reduce physical growth and result in impaired cognitive function particularly for children under the age of five. The project team analysed the WASH services of the healthcare facilities in relation to six different groups. Outpatients, inpatients, medical staff, managers, cleaning personnel and attendants, who are relatives looking after family members in the hospital. They did a technical assessment of the WASH facilities. 
led focus group discussions structured around the Gender Action Learning System, or GALS for short, to identify the challenges people faced and conducted semi-structured interviews to learn about people's specific WASH needs. Common concerns were identified. These were the importance of access to clean drinking water and water for hygiene, the cleanliness and comfort of the WASH facilities and the healthcare centres, the beliefs and taboos that people have about menstruation, menstrual hygiene management, pregnancy and childbirth, and the lack of access to toilets and bathing facilities. The Genderized WASH project team has produced several outputs including recommendations for the healthcare authorities, managers and staff, the fact that many toilets are dirty and overused, that the water supply is irregular and privacy is too often lacking, are the first things which have to be acknowledged. Awareness raising, sensitisation and education on menstruation and menstrual hygiene matters with patients and attendants should be a priority, as is the necessity to establish strictly separate male and female toilets for patients and for the staff. Cleaning materials and reliable water sources should be made available and people should be educated about the public health risks associated with open defecation and urination. There are also recommendations dealing with the planning, design and operation of healthcare facilities. And a WASH monitoring tool was developed for healthcare facilities in low- and middle-income countries. WASH services are crucial to public health, especially in healthcare facilities. Separate toilets, hand washing facilities, safe disposal of waste. These are all essential and help reduce the spread of disease and infections. The project aims to benefit everyone, especially the underserved and most vulnerable groups of people, through promoting the improvement of sanitation services and hygiene and to pursuit of common efforts to improve wash services at public healthcare facilities. Our focus on WASH is fundamental and responds to the water goals of Agenda 2030 for sustainable development and to basic human needs. Mm -hmm.